this is how we started the journey uh, our journey from Kenya to Tanzania and it is a journey that took uh, uh, about maybe 23 hours we were traveling day and night because from this place that we are from Nairobi to Dar es Salaam it is 893 km so you imagine driving all those hours in in the vehicle and uh, there is not we, we were not stopping and there, there was no stopping just traveling traveling you get tired but then when you look at the direction when you look at the distance that you are remaining uh, you just feel going on and driving on and uh, there's another thing that uh, kept on going and driving it is what we call the love of Jesus when you remember that you're going all those hundred kilometers just to reach people people who have never risen to the gospel people who have never uh, heard about Jesus and the the kingdom of God that thing give us encouragement and also it pushes us not to give up on our driving uh, and another thing that with this road is that the Lord was very very dangerous when it comes to uh, the vehicles that are passing on uh, because it is a road that is being passed so much by uh, heavy lorries which are carrying heavy tons they are called transportation lorries or uh, what we call transist and so the Lord sometimes was very narrow and uh, those transists they 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 have a, a a force when they are when they are passing you you feel you could feel the force of the weed that they are carrying and uh, even some some places they were saying the warning that they are they are bypass uh, weeds which we should be cautious about them uh, so the journey was very very long as you can see uh, traveling all those kilometers just to reach uh, the north shore and uh, we were very very focused and also we were very challenged to see that this is the, the, the reason why Jesus Christ said that uh, go into all the all the nation it meant that we, we must go we must drive to all the nation so it was not easy but the journey was very very uh, very very nice or I can say very very fantastic when it comes is uh, the first time that you are you are going to Tanzania you are entering to Tanzania the the natural beauty the landscape the mountains the valleys they were very 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 beautiful because they remind us and uh, they teaches us that those are the work of God when we look at the mountain we see the work of God we see the the mighty hand of work of God and uh, we just feel to praise God uh, to worship God to give him the glory to give him all the praises because it is the work of God uh, when we look at the nature and all those mountains uh, sometimes we wonder people wonder us because you find that many tourists they, they, they go they drive or they even uh, come through freight through airplane and they walk so many so so far away just to go to visit and to see mountains which are created in the uh, by the hand of God and uh, when they come they don't realize that that they one the hack the work of God they just praise the nation they praise that that region but they don't praise God but 
for me when i just look at mountain some of the uh, wonderful skins of the world i just see the, wa- the work of god and uh, they just draw me closer to god uh feeling just to worship god and to give him all the glory and that's what we are doing because we are we were reasoning and worshiping when we are driving and the presence of god was really in the vehicle and so that was the beauty of tanzania uh there are those things that uh, makes people uh to draw to god number one is the love of god another thing uh something that makes people to go for the rich for the lord for the lord soul is the love of god is the love of those lost souls the love of people if you love people if you love the lost people you will surely go to for them you will count the cost uh you will not mind the cost of reaching out the lost because you know that you love the lost and that was the reason why Jesus Christ came because he loved the lost and he said that we also if we love Jesus if we love him we must also uh feed his sheep you remember that scripture where Jesus Christ was speaking to Simon uh Peter and he was uh, he was asking Simon 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 do you love me and he said yes i love you but uh, Simon replied and said yes i love you you know i know i love you and he was told by Jesus ah if you love me then feed my sheep so if we love Jesus we will avail ourselves we will give ourselves to the to the uh to the to the to the leeching out of the lost yeah for those that are lost we will avail ourselves we will give ourselves totally to them they will not get tired we will keep on moving we keep on going keep on reaching for the lost soul and uh, as i look at the church nowadays uh i see that there is something that is lacking in the churches of today uh that is to reach the lost soul uh many churches today you see they, they are just uh, thinking about uh uh seeking for the lost coin instead of seeking for the lost soul uh the love for the lost is dying each and every day in the church and uh, what is uh, in the church today it is the love the love of the money the love of fame the love of vehicles building houses those are the things that are attracting the church today but uh, going forward to reach the lost they don't have such things they no longer have the burdens so it becomes so different the way uh, the apostles of the ancient days the way the christians of the ancient days how they they, they they used they used to value this christianity or this faith they valued so much that they were willing to take the gospel outside to those who have not been rich they were willing to give all of all of their money all of their resources for the benefit of reaching the lost soul but you find that today even the men of god they're just uh, there to benefit themselves buying expensive vehicles for themselves for luxury it's not about reaching the lost it's about uh enjoying what they have and the riches and that is not the love of jesus so that is how it is uh you can see uh the mountains of tanzania uh and uh, the crowd are touching the mountain this is great because when we look when we look at that we see it's the, the work of god it is god you see i see i i know of a scripture that says it is god who create who who, who create the, the the crowd the way they are is the one who decorate them he's the one who tells them today uh crowd you need to be scattered in this way all this is the work of god so when we when we look at the skies the mountains we see the work of god indeed uh walking with us uh when we went to the tanzania uh tanzania 
uh, mission uh, we also found out that uh, many many people there have not been reached by the gospel especially in the region of uh, the region of coastal region where we were uh, that region is highly uh, populated by Muslim a few are the churches that you would see and uh, so you find that uh, those places uh, the gospel have not been preached gospel has not been preached there and uh, the, 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 the place that we entered that village uh, the people are very very much thirsty for the word of God yeah it was amazing to some of people hearing the word hallelujah the first time imagine since the the word was created somebody has never heard the word hallelujah they, they, they have heard about jesus maybe like isa but the word jesus they have not heard him they have not heard him and even women muslim who are gathering to hear the word of god with so much uh, love and with so much thirst and they kept on coming coming and hearing the word of god although they were they were husband if their husband came and uh, met them listening the word of god uh their husband were very very harsh and uh, just by a rook or a grass of rook uh, they vanish they were running away when they see their husband or an elder or a sheikh but most people when we look at them there they were very very tired of muslim they were very very tired of that religion of uh, islam because they did not feel the peace they did not see uh, experience the love there it's like raw it's like living in law commandment they are very harsh they really treat women they really treat children they really treat each other and uh, also there's a there's a what we call witchcraft and uh, the, 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 the 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 worship of 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 demons where they say it is angels yeah you find that there is a war jealousy envy revenge so they have not been taught love and so when we went there and presented the real love of Jesus Christ uh those people they were totally uh, willing to change but what uh, was preventing some of of them is that uh, when they change they will be denied by the husband they will even become an outcast they lose everything when they they accept Jesus they lose everything because there is so much persecution in uh, Islam more than Christian because when you convert and become a follower of Jesus then you become an outcast they can even kill you and so on and that was how it was and uh, i remember as we were just uh, doing our revivals there because we were going round around every village we went uh, like uh, like maybe five villages five village yeah we went uh, different and several places and uh, when we went there after traveling many kilometers yeah from maram road to where the 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 village is uh, it is a laugh road as you can see it is a laugh road yeah that that's where we were traveling yeah here here when you look at this uh, video it is where we were heading and uh, i tell you it's a wrong journey because from from the tarmac road to the village is a rough road and you go like uh, maybe 24 or even like 30 kilometers going and entering that deep village so you can imagine and when we went there uh those people uh mostly even the young generation 
they have not seen the vehicle they have not seen even the vehicle uh, like that because they came so much or they have not seen people coming uh, with uh, such a great love to bring the gospel and here uh, we have we, we, we have a uh, station our 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 loudspeaker yeah on the roof of the vehicle the carrier so you can see we had a loud voice music is is spreading in the village so uh, many children they followed the vehicle so much and they were not even careful for themselves because the way they were holding the vehicle they were dragging themselves through the vehicle until we saw ah, this one could bring a damage or even a loss a loss for their life and we had to tell one of us to go and to cry at the back of the vehicle there uh, near the spare wheel of the vehicle so that no no one no one will hang on the vehicle now the children because they were hanging and without without caring for themselves they, they were hanging and the vehicle was still uh, moving so that's how it was it is a, such a rough to take the gospel uh, day and night we were traveling going into that into that bushy places you see the press itself look like bush because uh, there is there, there is, it is not a place whereby uh people have located uh no it's a place that, that looks like a, like a, a, a forest or a, a park for animal yeah through bushes we could penetrate through them and uh, that is how our journey was but the most thing that we give glory to jesus is that the gospel was preached and there are people who came by the night who turned to jesus after hearing the gospel they were so much moved and also there were others there that were just waiting for this time because they have been in is in the islam but they do not realize the, the, the peace of God, so they feel that this movement or this religion is not working at all. Is that they are raving as if they are waiting for another Messiah? They are waiting for another Messiah. Uh, except except uh, Muhammad, they were waiting for Jesus. Yeah, in their religion, they did not feel peace, and that, that's the reason why they were looking or raving as if. They are still looking for the Messiah, and also when we went there to preach the gospel, they came out, even even men, and they were led to receive the gospel. And some of them, we even prayed for them, and some also came secretly, and uh, they started a, a, a Bible, what we call a Bible, a Bible, a Bible study. Yeah, they were they were given a Bible a Bible class that they could attend each and every day according to how they would plan yeah and and that is how it was it was very powerful indeed and the love of god was so great to these people and uh, we reached somewhere and we saw that these people they are very very desperate when we look up at to them we see there is a lot of poverty uh in this village and so you see the children the way you see those children running for the vehicle uh some of them hanging on the uh, uh behind the vehicle those children they were very very uh living in poverty and also they were expecting something that we should give them and so by the grace of god we, we managed to give them biscuits and that touched their parent because when we gave them some retro gifts their parents also came and received the gospel with so much eager. And also we went into a point whereby we had to raise and to tell our supporters, yeah, our followers on this channel. We told them that now we need to buy food for this village because the place seems the place whereby they do not have food. And also uh, the, 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 most people, they survive like... Uh, 
uh, to, to sell those nuts. The, the trees that you can see, you see there are some of the large trees that you can see where we are passing. Those trees are for nuts. Uh, it's not ground nuts, but uh, nuts which grow, uh, uh, which grow, and they they they, they are harvested uh, through those trees. So people live selling those uh, those nuts, and also a number of humans they also live by what we call uh, fishing. They fish there. Uh, the ocean on the ocean that's how they survive so we managed to give them food to give them fr uh, a piece of flour and uh, they were very very happy and they listened to the gospel so much until even the the chief of that area the the the, the, the readers there in that area they supported us and they came and spoke to them as they, they were distributing uh that uh, food to them and the, our gospel was received with much honor just by giving them food, biscuit, and also giving them the word of God. There was so much powerful that they even say that they have not seen such a love as that. And they said that, ah, now we have been in Islam all those years, but these people, they don't have love. They are fighting each other. All they care is building their, their, their mosque and their schools. But they don't think about the community yeah and so we were able to win those people and the request that they requested he requested that if we could do something that would touch them also because there's a problem for water is to dig uh aware for those people uh which we are we are dealing with that if it is contribution contribution we will contribute uh to make sure that those people they have received water in that a place and and i believe by that the gospel will be preached even more and the church that will be there the church that we we, we left there the small church which is surrounded by mosque and the people there are muslim that church will be so much honored when they do something for the village or for the community so that is how the mission was and uh, the whole mission yeah going and coming going and coming back uh it uh, took uh i saw in the in the mileage of the vehicle it took uh uh 3000 kilometer 3000 kilometers from uh, from nairobi to tanzania then from tanzania to nairobi back yeah it took for 3,000 kilometer. Yeah, it was a, such a great test to us because when we went there, we saw that this is a great test to us because number one, where we are going to preach, we are going to preach to Muslim. So should we change our gospel? No. And our gospel is all about Jesus. And when we were, we were there, we could hear that there are places where there are persecution, there are places where Christian even they are persecuted, even killed. And the place, the village where we were preaching, yeah, when we look, all the side is all the Muslims. So what should we do? We preached Jesus and we exalted the name of Jesus Christ. We did not uh, deny the, his name. We told them that salvation is by the name of Jesus and that we are in the end time and all people need to turn to Jesus because that is the name. That is, we are given in heaven and earth by which a man should be saved and by Calling the name of Jesus and believing in Him, who is the Son of God, there is salvation. That gospel is very, very uh, hated by Muslims because they do not believe that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is the Son of God, and they don't believe that Jesus offers salvation, and Jesus is God, and Jesus who should be worshipped. They just see Jesus as a, as, a, as a prophet. And so, we had to tell them the reality of the truth. And we believe that... Uh, the gospel has been leached and uh, like the bible says that unless this gospel of the kingdom of god be preached to all the nation the end would not come so i believe that the end is still nearing even as many people who have never lived listened to the gospel at the first time when they are when they, they become rich by the gospel when the gospel reaches them 
Therefore, we draw near to the end because Jesus Christ will come and all people will first hear the gospel of the kingdom of God and they will hear about him. So, that's all the journey and we want to give God all the glory because the journey was successful, the vehicle was successful, no, 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 no tire damage, no overheating, nothing went wrong, nothing went wrong. Everything went well by the grace of God and we give God of the glory so much for such a time as this when people who have never listened to the gospel, when they are reached, that is our mission complete. So may God bless you so much, dear brethren and viewers and supporters of the missionaries. May God continue to bless you and uh, let us continue to pray and to intercede and support the work of missionary reaching to the rest because the, that is the heartbeat of Jesus Christ. Yeah. The Lord bless you. Shalom.